The Goya family launched today, Goya Cares. At the center of our family is the heart. And we wanted to raise awareness for the scourge of child trafficking in our country and around the world. It is modern day slavery. There are more slaves to child trafficking than ever before. So we find ourselves uh, looking to open our hearts and to care for the most vulnerable of our society. Please join Goya in helping us stamp out child trafficking. You know, you have a lot of people today talking about how horrendous slavery is and how it's impacted everything in our country and how it's impacted who we are. Well, I got a news flash. There are actually more slaves in the world today than there were in 1863 when the Emancipation Proclamation was brought forth. And we need to be every bit as concerned about it, probably even more concerned. And not just bringing it to people's attention, but making sure that something gets done about it. My name is Eduardo Verastegui. I am a filmmaker and the producer of the film Sound of Freedom. Sound of Freedom is a movie about the life of Tim Mallard, a true American hero who travels around the world undercover rescuing children that are kidnapped for sexual exploitation. The film talks about his first rescue mission that took place in Cartagena, Colombia, where he rescued many children and at the end these children were singing it was this beautiful sound of freedom. That's why the title is called Sound of Freedom. My hope as a filmmaker is that when people leave the theater, they will leave not only entertained, but hopefully they will leave, move, touch, wanting to be the heroes that this world needs so we can end this human tragedy, which is child trafficking for sexual exploitation. Today was extremely important. I think what you saw, what we're all experiencing, is a very large corporation that's truly taking a stance against the evil that exists in our world. Um, there are not many companies that they may give, but they don't truly understand the issue. And I believe what Goya um, and its leadership, as well as with Bob, is trying to tr understand, educate themselves with the best amount of information, vet out the organizations that are doing work that is the most impactful, um, and then I think it will bring a call to action to the rest of uh, to industries as well as the uh, manufacturing and distribution uh, food industry uh, to, to come to the table uh, and both educate themselves, make sure that their employees are protected and safe, as well as socially and responsibly give uh, to this issue so that we can uh, combat it and make as big of an impact as possible. In the United States, we know that one in seven kids who goes missing is a victim of sexual exploitation child trafficking. Uh, around the world, we know that around a million kids each year are the victim of sexually oriented child trafficking. We also know that today there are about two billion people age 18 and under who have experienced some kind of sexual abuse in their lives. So these are the kinds of statistics that should get everybody's attention and should make us all want to do everything we can to stop this scourge on our society. Uh, Catholic Charities in San Antonio, we provide wraparound services to people in need uh, in the border of Texas and, and uh, Mexico. So we work with people uh, providing services from birth to uh, uh, natural death. And that actually includes a lot of immigrants who are crossing the border these days and they are, they are being trafficked. So we try to provide them with services from housing to food to clothing, anything that they need to have a safe environment where they can actually be treated again like human beings. The Eric Chase Foundation is a foundation that focuses on bringing awareness to the opioid epidemic that we are facing here in our country. The connection between human trafficking and opioids in this country go hand in hand. Traffickers use opioids to lure victims in and to keep them under their control. And working together with Goya Cares, our mission is to bring that message to the public and bring awareness, and with awareness comes prevention. As an overcomer and survivor of trafficking, 
It was hard for me to see light while I was in such darkness. But being here today and witnessing the amazing efforts from the Goya family gives me true hope. Literally, it allows me to go back to my survivor siblings, my overcover siblings, and instill hope in them to keep fighting and to let them know that there are people out here who actually truly cares, Goya cares, and that to me is life-changing.